I was looking for a, a command line file manager and I tried a few but this one is my favorite it's called Ranger All right and by default I love the color scheme it looks very pretty as opposed to the other ones I tried it didn't look so good All right um, they don't use the dual ping view like most of the other ones they use a single one but uh, they have it in column view so I never used this before they have a column right here so column one column two and column three now the column one is basically where you have been uh, column two is where you're at right now column three is where you could go right or sometimes they show you a preview so for example uh, right now we're in the middle here and you just use your was it up and down arrows or you can use your vim movement keys like hjkl and all that but let's say we use the arrows you can go up and down to go inside a folder you hit the right and left so right is to go in left is to go out in and out like that right um if you need to get help in here like if you want to see like the man page you can hit the question mark so the question mark it'll open your man page and you can hit the slash and you can search for whatever you want like uh I don't know command or something and I'll find the first word you hit n for the next uh occurrence of it shift n is go back that you know word that you want to find and q to get it quit uh, another way is was that uh, you press 1 and then question mark this will show you your key binding and again you can hit slash to find the hotkey you want let's say I want to find uh, delete right and I'll find it and then n is to find the next occurrence shift n is to go find the you know the word backwards I oh, was a Q to quit out of that uh, so you hit 2 question mark this will show you your commands uh, that it has on your configurations and three question mark is to show you your settings for um, your file manager here stuff you have enabled whatever it is so Q to get out of that so basically that's just you get help you know the question mark or question mark uh, with the numbers um, so that's that and oh yeah in here depending on which package you have installed on your system already so let's say for example we go into our download folder here right depending if you have uh, well they don't have anything to read PDF on the command line so if you hit enter here it will open your um, was that uh, your PDF here with your PDF viewer if you have like a text file right uh, I'll show you a little preview of it on the side here so what's inside this text file is basically here if you want to open it you hit to enter and um, I think by default it uses nano but you can change it to vim or whatever if you want right so I'm using vim here and there you go you can read it and all that um, if you have like tar and bar files or whatever by default you c it, it previews it uh, using uh, a tools which I talked about last time so a tools here just to list it out so even if you hit enter it uh, it just lists it out for extractions uh, I think there's a script for that but we're just gonna talk about basic stuff here right um, if you have like M player installing your system then it will use that to play your audio like mp3s here so if I hit enter see so it plays it with M player Q to quit out of that if you have um, I believe Feth and um, image to text then it will show like a little preview here uh, in ASCII right of this image here if you hit enter it will open it with Feth here your uh, or my um, you know image viewer uh, you can do that for the other ones like this one it gives you a little preview but uh, it's an ASCII so it's not really that useful but you know they do have that if you want and there you go that's how you do it for different formats that they have or extensions here now like I said before this one doesn't use uh, dual pane uh, but it, it does have tabs so that's how you would use uh, to navigate between different you know windows that you want to copy and paste over so if you want a new tab you hit control N and notice that on top here you have this one and two 
on our right corner here, one and two here, and you just hit tab between them, and you can tab, you know, between the tabs. Um, if you want to create more, just hit Control N, and I'll create more. And uh, let's say, for example, you can tab between three of them now. If you want to delete it, it is Control W. Now we just have two again. If you want to create a new one, but um, yeah, there's another way to create a new one is Alt and then a different number. So let's say we have two numbers here on our right corner. Uh, if you hit Alt three now, it will give you another one. If it doesn't, it doesn't exist already. And what the Alt thing does is you can go to directly to the tab that you want. So Alt one will go directly to one. Alt three will go to three here, right? So one, two, three, or you can go one and three and go directly. Uh, as opposed to tabs, you can just go you know to the next one. So tab is only go to the next one, right? Anyways, uh, Control W delete that, and we'll go on to renaming stuff and copy and pasting. So for example, if I want to let's say rename this uh, image, how do I do that? So if you know how to use Vim hotkeys, this will you know come handy if you know how to use it. But it's uh, what is that? CW. So you hit CW. Uh, let's say you enter this um, command mode here, and let's say you make a mistake, you can hit uh, Control C, and it'll cancel all of that, right? So Control C is to cancel anything that you try to make a mistake at. Um, so, anyways, let's rename this CW, and now we we name it something else like uh, uh, what is this picture of? I think it was Death Note, right? Death Note dot JPEG. And there you go, it uh, renames it there. Uh, so CW is to rename. How do you copy stuff? Let's say for example, I want to copy it to my uh, um, what is that? I don't know. We'll put it in our temp folder. I don't want to save these. Oops. Temp folder here, right? Um, so we have a few already, but let's say I want to copy this uh, Death Note to our temp folder. So all you do is hit Y and you can see you hit Y again it'll do the copy. So Y so Y Y is to copy and let's tab over to our temporary folder and PP is to paste so PP and there you go you have our Death Note uh, JPEG here. So how would you move stuff? We know how to copy so moving is almost the same thing uh, if you ever use Vim, is a DD. So, for example, our wallpaper here. So, DD, right? Tab, and we'll do PP to paste. PP, and there you go. Our wallpaper exists here. It doesn't exist over here anymore since we uh, moved it, right? So, now you know how to do. Um, what's that? Rename is CW. YY is to copy. Uh, DD is to move. And um, PP is to paste, you know, whatever it is. Uh, let's go on to another thing here. Is that you can actually use your mouse, although I don't really recommend it, and I don't know why you would want to. But you can move, you know, use your mouse to click on the one that you want, right? You can use your um, what's that? Scrolly wheel. And depending on which uh, terminal you're using, you can use your um, your right click to enter the, the folder although I'm using Quake and it doesn't work but if you're using like uh, GNOME Terminal or something it will work alright but yeah that's how you can do it here uh, like I said I don't really recommend using the mouse that's not the point of this program but uh, it's good to know that you could use it if you want and you can click on any of these you know other ones if you want to do that but uh, that's it for the mouse thing and Oh yeah, so you know that there's a uh, they call these I think shell. You know how you have like these little things that's built into uh, the uh, the program. Hit Q to get out of that. But another one is uh, let's say for example, uh, if you want to enter uh, what's that command line mode, you hit the, the colon, so shift and colon, and now you can go like this. For example, we want to CD into our uh, uh, script folder, script beta folder here. 
right? And you can enter into your script folders real quick right there. And let's say a CD, I don't know, or a home folder. And there you go. You can use command lines if you want. Um, I'm not sure how you can um, use your alias yet, like you know your bash RC or zshrc. They don't do that by default, so um, I only been using it for a few days, so I don't know how to do that yet. Um, so another thing that I want to show is let's go back to let's say you want to bookmark it or I think they call it bookmark or marking I forgot but basically this is how it works right uh, let's say for example we have our script folder here and I want to mark it so M and then you give it a uh, I think I already have some here but let's just say M and then we give it like a letter we'll call this a U okay so MU is our script uh, beta folder and whenever you like you navigate to a different uh, directory or something right now we're in our uh, home folder here right our home folder and all you gotta do is hit the what's that single quotes and it'll pop up this little thing here and you can see that there's different paths in here that you can do and the U one is our script folder right so you hit U you go into that folder so whenever you hit uh, single quotes It'll pop up this little thing and then you have uh, whatever letter that you you know bookmark it to so s will go into our beta and if you hit the single quotes twice it'll go back to the directory that you were at so right so it's like uh, cd dash is to go back to your current directory that you've been to in the past i don't know if i explained that right but the first one right here, this little uh, single quotes, is always going to be your last folder, right? So that makes more sense, your last folder. So you keep doing this, it'll go into your last folder that you've been to. So you see single quotes. And one quote and then different letter, like let's say for example our M here, it'll go into our uh, bookmarks, right? So again, bookmark is to, you just go to the folder that you want. For example, we go to our... Um, what we got here our download folder you hit M and then we give it a letter we'll call this letter uh, M uh, was it MB or something right now whenever we want to go to this folder let's say we go to a different folder or whatever we hit uh, single quote and then uh, B let's go back to our download folder so that's how you do the bookmarks and all that and Oh yeah, for selection. So selection is basically if you hit V, it'll select all your files, and you see it turns yellow. So V again to undo it. If you want to select it like one at a time, you know you hit space, space here, all right? And hit space again to undo the files there. If you want to select it visually, you hit Shift and V, and you can move your arrow keys up and down, and it'll mark it as it goes. Uh, to undo that, just hit the same hotkey again, Shift V, and hit Space, and it'll undo it. Um, the thing that I don't like about in here is that the the delete key is permanent. You know, when you delete something, I mean, they they do give you like a little warning. For example, if I hit uh, delete here, it says, "Oh, do you want to delete?" And then you hit uh, you know Enter to confirm it, or whatever. I'll hit Control C to cancel it, but um, yeah, when you delete stuff, it's it doesn't go to your trash can. It goes, it goes away. All right. So what I recommend you do, uh, I talked about this last time, but uh, I'll show you what I, I did. Okay. So let's go into our Ranger configuration file. It should be in your uh, home folder, configurations, or I mean dot config here, and then Ranger, right? And let's list out some files. If you don't have these files like uh, rcconf and apps and all this, what you want to do is run uh, ranger dash dash copy dash config dash all. Basically, what that would do is copy your um, configurations over to your home folder so you can edit it. Anyways, what you want to do is co um, use your text editor and go to open up your rcconf here. And on like line 90 or something here. The original one was to delete uh, the files using their uh, delete command. 
but if you install uh, trash CLI just map it to uh, the delete key and since I don't know how to write Python code we're just gonna use the shell here and we're gonna use trash put if you have an older version of trash then it's just called trash okay so you don't have to type out you know trash put just type out trash only and this one is for the selected files so I'll show you how this works okay um, let me give you a visual too Let's see here trash basically when you do this it will send the files to your trash uh, you know your trash can here and so you can restore it later like let's say for example I want to restore this I hit restore it's much safer okay so anyways let's say I want to delete um, a tools I just hit the delete here and it sends it to my trash can see this right here much safer than uh, the way that they had it um, if you want to do this like visually like I showed you before um, what is that? Let's say I want to select uh, this one, this one, and maybe this one. All right. So I selected those three yellow ones, and I hit the delete key, and I'll delete those three, and I'll send it to, you know, our, our uh, trash can here. Anyways, that's how I do it for uh, deleting, because the default way is uh, unsafe to me. And make sure you, um, what's it called? Let me get out of this one. What the hell? There we go. Make sure you install what's it called? Trash CLI package if you want to do it like I did, right? It's called Trash CLI here. Should be in your repositories. Anyways, that's the program. Um, if you want to quit, just hit Q. It'll close out one tab at a time and that's how it is you quit and that'll be it for the end of this screencast you should try it out it's a very good program uh... if you like command line uh... you know file manager and everything like that that'll be it for this one